Liz Truss's campaign remarks about the French president have gone viral. Um, president Macron, friend or foe? The, the jury's out, but if I, if, I, if I become prime minister, I'll judge him on deeds, not words. Truss, the UK foreign secretary, is seen as the front runner to replace Boris Johnson as the country's next prime minister. But the backlash to her remarks has been swift, with criticism coming from both the opposition and Truss's own conservative party. In a tweet, Labour Party MP David Lammy questioned her judgment. Liz Truss using the last weeks of her leadership campaign to insult the president of one of Britain's closest allies shows a woeful lack of judgment. We need a prime minister working in the national interest, not attempting to score cheap points from the Tory base. While former foreign minister and Conservative Party member Alastair Burt called the remarks a serious error. It's a big story in France, too. Media headlines here translating as, is Macron a friend or an enemy? Liz Truss refuses to say. French President Emmanuel Macron on an official visit to Algeria has weighed in as well. If France and Britain cannot say whether they are friends or enemies, that's not a neutral term. Then we're headed for serious problems. However, Macron added that without a doubt, Britain is a friend of France, whoever its leaders are. Still, tensions remain between the two NATO allies, including post-Brexit fishing rights, migrant boat crossings in the Channel, and a military pact between Australia, the U.S. and Britain that saw France lose its contract to build submarines for Canberra. Paris called it a stab in the back and dismissed the UK's involvement as being little more than a junior partner to Washington. But with the war in Ukraine, both countries say they're committed to supporting Kyiv for as long as necessary in the country's fight against Russia.